Backseat musicians. It's a hustle, man. Yeah, like the biggest hustles that we've seen is probably Lil Nas X. I know nothing about him. Uh, you know Old Town, Old Town Road? Yes. Uh, he, he was the guy who wrote Old Town Road. Is he that rapper? Yeah. That does it. Yeah. Of all the songs on the top 40. Yeah. It's the one I hate. <laughs> like, I hate that song. I know. I th- oh, my God. I think it's the stupidest song ever. And I can't believe that they put Billy Ray Cyrus on it, which made it even worse. Yeah. And I don't hate him, you know? Yeah. It's a grapevine. And what's th- no, what's that song? He- what's that song? I was a kid. I used to sing it of his famous one. I can't remember, but I mean... I don't know, just it's 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 the oh man. <laughs> I really don't like that song. No, I get it. Daniel was singing it the other day. <laughs> I don't know. I'm and I'm not one of those people that's like, oh no no pop me like commercial music, man. I'm into real music. I'm not like that, you know, like I dig there's a lot of stuff I dig that a lot of people don't. Because I'm just I just like, oh cool, it's a nice groove, like oh cool. You know? But that song I, I just think it's a terrible song. Okay. So I don't care about what you have to say about him. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, the thing is, like, yeah, so you can go, okay, cool, this guy did something, he hustled hard, but it's still a shit song, man. Look at um, that guy you like, what's his name? Charlie Puth. Mm hmm. Like, he hustles hard. Yeah. But he's got good music, man. Yeah. And it's another song on the radio today. What's a cheat on you? Cheating on you? Or something. Yeah, yeah, cheating on you. Yeah, like you know that old school sound, that sort of Bruno, white version of Bruno Mars yeah. sound. And but it's yeah, it's nice, good. man. It's yeah. a nice song. The other song, Grandma. What's it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah I know you're you know, like yeah. there's a, these are cool songs, man. Yeah, they are. You know, like so he's also hustling hard. I mean, he's releasing a lot. He's con- he's re- really he's. You can see he's working hard. I mean, you can you know you showed me that stuff of him when he was younger. Yeah. Um, his YouTube page. Yeah. He's been working hard. That to me is better because it's actually, when you listen to it, you hear he's a good musician. You hear he's a someone that knows um, what he's doing. And uh, and I don't mean like he's a good musician because he ever puts anything burning in there. But you just hear the fundamentals. He's, he's coherency. A fun- he's, yeah. You know, yeah. you hear it's simple still. It's still it's 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 accessible. It's well thought through, um, tasteful. I don't know. It just ticks a lot of boxes, man. Yeah, like like he's like that. that that's why I like him so much because he's a very musical guy that you that you can sort of understand and break down really quickly. So he teaches you a lot about pop very quickly just by listening to him and checking him out and breaking it down. Which I re- that's why I checked him out so much. Like, no, oh. yeah. But the reason I, I'm interested in Lil Nas X is because of that promotion story. So he with that song, he he stopped bad guy from getting to the top of the charts. He stopped Ed. Sh- Eilish. Yeah, he stopped. Don't care by Ed Sheeran no, and Justin got Bieber. To two, hey. Yeah, she stopped. Don't care by Justin Bieber and Ed Which Sheeran. Which one is that one? Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, that one never breaks. Hey, I don't know if you noticed. Like that song never. The never yeah, it never the breaks. The yeah. chorus never actually drops properly. Yeah, it's got that like it. It can't. You know, then the two and four never fall. Mm-mm-mm. Which has become quite popular in lately with music. Mm. But that song, it's it's an interesting one. I feel like they didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, I feel like they hit a block and they they thought, okay, cool, let's just uh, this is what it is now, and I feel like it's an incomplete song. Yeah, no, I do. That's agree. what it feels like to me. I don't know if you yeah. agree. Yeah, li- yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. Yeah, but look, so, anyway, so sorry, yeah. like, like uh, just from a promotional side, what he did. So, and he's only been making music for 16 months. In March, of, in you April of this year, he had, <laughs> he had, he <laughs> had. What? What? Do I, mean? I said you can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate that song. You don't know, like. I, f- I promise, it's 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 mediocre to me completely. Anyways, yeah, yes, okay. Promo. Let's talk about promo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna let this go. Oh. I, you know, I don't talk about things. Yeah, often. I know, I know, I know. Oh man. Anyways, it's sorry. Great. I have a title for this episode: "The Roast of Donald Nas X." <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I must say, Blake, I love Donald Nas X. <laughs> 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 I love this man. <laughs> 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 And I love all, but look at the panelists tonight. <laughs> I mean, Blake. <laughs> 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 oh, 
the backseat position roast. Yeah, okay. Of little nose. Anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't know. Um, don't worry, I'll, I'll cut part of that out. Okay, just. <laughs> no, I don't have to. Okay, cool. Carry on. Yeah. No, it's just so he, he literally just. Um, it was about the way he ticked certain boxes. So he would, he would. So first of all, he memed the song like crazy. So when it hit TikTok, he got a million plays. So he memed it in in how? So like, what happened was so. He um so he b- he bought the beat for fifty dollars, uh, which is crazy <laughs> considering how much money that song has made now. Which is Damn, poor poor producer whoever that was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Um and um he would like he posted that song on his Twitter, which had like something like twenty twenty k, and he, he so s- how did he get a twenty k? Because I'm on three hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. So like, like, how did he get there, first of all? Yeah, I, again, just by by posting, getting to know. Like, he already knew a lot about how 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 to how to work the internet before he did this, and the way he worked the internet to get this right shows that he knew about it. And he himself doesn't talk speak that highly of the song. He just uh, he says it's like it's a song I made in a worm. I don't think that much of it. I promoted it like crazy, and it worked like it it worked like crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you see, one of the interesting things about that is that. I'd I'd never have the balls to promote any of my songs like that, even if I loved it. Mm. And that's a, li- a lesson, you know. Yeah. So uh, see, th- th- that mentality is actually what I kind of want to talk about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get you. Anyways, carry on. Like no, no, no that, that, that's kind of just just like the, the numbers he pulled out of or it's almost out of nowhere is insane. Um, but so, yeah. So so he produced the song, and then he tweeted about it. Yeah, it was online already. It was up. Yeah, and at the same time, Red Dead Red Dead Redemption Two was coming out, mm-hmm. which is like a cowboy game. Yeah, and there were memes yeah. of that all over the place. So the original music video for the song was Red Dead Redemption clips, and also he put the song. So and he did that himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then he also put the song in the country category because it has a country a country twist to I it. Heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the controversy and like the the controversy around that or just. It it made the song explode when you posted it on SoundCloud. Yeah, he broke country records. Hey? Yeah, he did. Yeah. and then they took it off because they considered it not country. Yeah, but then they came back on something. Yeah, because because the outrage and that outrage brewed more, like respect for the song. And then what happened was how Billy Ray got onto it was he tweeted, he tweeted in support Little Nas, and then he came into the song, and also uh, so he was on the Billboard top. Uh, he was top of the Billboards for nineteen weeks. Mm. And how he kept that going was by releasing remix after remix after remix after remix. Because <laughs> mm. appara- for some reason, the remixes of the song count towards the billboard billboard charts. Oh, so that was nuts! It's nuts what that guy did. Yeah, so just num like numbers wise, what he did was incredible. Okay. So what does he? Uh, what else has he released since or before? Um, has anything else hit the charts yet? He he had. had He'd had one album before, from what I know, and I've s- I've seen one other song with 143 million views on YouTube. That's not bad at all. Yeah, 